so to our Voices of the Crisis. And we go to Africa, to Ghana, for today's Voice of the Crisis. The company is Kaime. It's a cosmetics company. Soap, candles, share butter. Now, most of the sales are in store. Uh, then, of course, uh, there is a bit of online sell selling, uh, but it's pretty much down 95%. Freda Obeng Ofo is the founder and chief mixer, and she joins me now on the line. Um, so, you are... <coughs> You, you've, you've, the thing I find fascinating, besides the products of what you make in your, in your shop and in your business, is that you've managed to keep your staff on as best you can. How have you done that? Well, we first and foremost, thank you for having me on the show. Um, our, our employees are our biggest assets, and therefore, you know, we put a lot of training into them. And so, once we have them, they're good. We like them for to stay for as long as possible. So, during such a crisis, it's really important that we make sure that they can survive. Um, so, we're just kind of using reserves to keep paying them until um, we get to the point where we can no longer do it. But we know we've been communicating with them and they know exactly how we're making these decisions. So if unfortunately if we get to the point where we're not able to pay them, they will they will understand where we're going because they have been part of our decision making uh, since inception and you know they're with us throughout. Even trying to do online sales, obviously the shop is closed, but even your online sales, I was just reading, the difficulty you've got trying to get anything anywhere yeah it's very difficult because obviously people can't go out so when people order online you still have to send the packaged product to uh the dispatch company or the logistics company to ship it abroad so fortunately for us we have some leeway in terms of you you know, our soaps can be used to wash right. um, our hands. Right. You know, it's part of the whole COVID protect preventative measures. So soap, right. in a way, can be considered as an essential item. So we use that as a measure to try and get some of our products out to our online customers, which, by the way, has been one of the ways that we're getting the little revenue that we can squeeze through this time to make sure that we can still stay alive. You started this business, you've obviously, I mean, like every small business has hit this most tremendous roadblock. I'm guessing that there aren't the same opportunities for government assistance to you in Ghana. Maybe uh, there would be elsewhere. Will your business survive? I'm sorry, I did not hear your question well. The last bit of the question. I guess really I just need to know will your business survive do you think will you be able to make it i think we will make it i'm very optimistic um i i feel like these are just uh, hard and challenging times and it's global everybody's going through the same process um and i'm very very confident that kami will make it out of this and when we do make it out of this it will make us even stronger um in the meantime we're really tapping into everything we can really engaging with our customers online, doing Instagram Live, checking in with our customers, and just engaging with them to let them know that we're still there and we still care about them through these times and trying to get as much sales as possible. I, I find that absolutely heartwarming, to be honest, Freda, that, that, that the, the optimism, the positivity, listen, I've been promising to visit every shop, every restaurant that we focused on. I'm not going to be able to visit you in Ghana, but will you promise me, I'll pay, I'll pay, you'll send me some soaps and candles in the post? Absolutely. And we can get, normally we can get it to you in three days, yes. but because of COVID, we'll probably give you two, two weeks to get it to you. Um, that's, that's very easy. We, and we do honor our promises, Akaimi. Good. Because... <laughs> I'll, leave, I'll leave you to choose I'll leave you to choose the flavors and the scents and everything like that and we'll show them on the show when they arrived in happier times what an honor to have you on the program tonight I'm so grateful thank you very much